hello and welcome back to my channel it's Aya here and today's video I'm thrilled to share with you a whole of art supplies uh, some from the last year and some fresh additions for this year so let's dive right in first up we have the Rembrandt granulating watercolor uh, set now this set comes with a brush that I'll be honest didn't quite excite me um, but for the good stuff, it's from a Netherlands company known for its uh, high quality pigment and standard uh, gum arabic binder. As I swatch these colors, I have noticed they are less granulating compared to uh, some other brands. Granulating, for those wondering, refers to the texture created when pigment particles settle into the paper. For me, less texture is better. Here are the 12 beautiful colors. Next, we have the Prelesson Fine Tech Watercolors. I stumbled upon these in one of Christina's Werner videos. I'm going to link her channel in the description box below. And let me tell you, they are stunning, stunning, especially on black paper. Unlike other paints I have, these truly shines, 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 <laughs> especially on the, especially the gold ones. Then I swatched them on white paper, but they didn't look very bright, especially the purples, the blues, and the greens. Um, still, I'll be using them to add, you know, sparkle and splatter uh, as a final touch, you know, on my cards. Just remember to wet these pans very, very well before using them. All right, next up, let me introduce you to this gem, the Schmincke Vintage Watercolor Limited Edition Set. And I have got to give a massive shout out to my girl Stephanie for sharing this set. She is a real gem when it comes to art supplies, especially Schmenke watercolors. Seriously, her passion is just contagious. So if you want to see more of her stuff, I have linked her channel down below. So be sure to check it out. Uh, so I ordered this set from a shop in Italy and I used Stephanie's link to grab it. Her link will be in the description box also. So anyway, uh, let's talk about these colors. So my favorites, there are two. Uh, Rutile Yellow, I hope I didn't butcher this name, Rutile Yellow, which is this gorgeous creamy uh, warm yellow. Then uh, the Golden Brown, absolutely beautiful. Just remind me of Tim Holtz, all sorts cases or something straight out from, you know, steampunk fantasy. Then there is this ruby red deep, which is not my favorite, just too bit intense for my taste. I don't like any red shades anyway. <laughs> I should have, you know, swatched it twice, uh, once on its own and once mixed with titanium white, but next time. Overall, I'm seriously impressed with these colors come together. It's like they were made for each other because I saw some artists, you know, sketching using these colors. Ah, oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness, let me just rave about White Knight watercolor for a minute before I tell you about the struggle I had unwrapping them. They are incredible watercolors, the colors are just so vibrant, they offer a wide range of colors, you can find pretty much any shade you need. 
and what really blows my mind they are super light fast like your painting wouldn't fade over time no matter how much sunlight they get i mean check out this painting i did back in 2015 it still looks as vibrant as the day i painted it and the best part it's actually affordable i mean you're getting a good quality without having you know to break the bank now let me tell you about the unwrapping process first off the pans come in a plastic case with uh, a removable tray for mixing which i'm not really fan of it's a bit tricky to pull out And let me tell you the stickiness, oh my gosh, a bit disappointing. I know they use honey in them, but still it would be nice if there was, you know, a way to prevent that stickiness. I'm not sure if it's possible or not, but, you know. <laughs> Um, I compared this set with the first one I bought years ago and I noticed that they peel off differently. It wasn't this granulating, so it was just the White Knight um, 36 pans. Um, and there's no stickiness whatsoever, so there seemed to be something different about the formula. And talk about bad luck, I wanted to compare them with the Schmincke Super Granulating Watercolors and oh, and wouldn't you know it, some of the paint dried out or got separated from the binder. How is that possible? I don't know. Hey, when it comes to comparing that granulation of White Knights to the fantasy Shimenke Best of Granulation set, you will notice that White Knights uh, may not have as intense of granulation effect, but the colors are still pretty vibrant and intriguing. Blue shadows and Colbert mist seem kind of similar, but overall it's really cool colors tell you when i re-swatch these colors again they were just as stunning as ever it's really worth the price so i decided to swatch the pastel uh, white knight colors uh the first thing i noticed they were way less sticky compared to the granulation set i got before uh except for this one color indigo gold which was a pain to peel off the packaging you know without wasting too much uh, paint and some colors were not sticky at all so i don't know what's going on here so i ended up cutting off the info label and just kept the names i don't need all that paint info i know some people does so i glued uh, them onto my paper pad while while i was you know was watching these pastel uh, colors that kind of reminded me of those ganzai tambay japanese watercolors so i thought why not bring them out and give them a whirl too 
Now let's talk about Gonzai Tambay. Uh, these paints are unlike anything I have ever worked with before. They are kind of this hybrid between watercolor and gouache. And get this, if you use less water, they almost act like acrylic paints. I'm not entirely sure if this is good or bad, but then again, I'm not professional watercolorist. I'm just someone who loves hurting art supplies. <laughs> But here's the thing, when they dry, there's a bit of unevenness and patchiness and they have got this subtle shine uh, to them. The colors, of course, are beautiful and super rich. One thing I did notice though is that the pens are not full to the brim, like barely half full. And the next day I found that a couple of colors um, start to shrink. So it's likely they changed the formula or something because the one I got 10 years ago were completely different. different. So that wraps up the Art Supplies haul. Don't forget to check the description box for links and more information. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!